Hi friends, let's understand how can you add a contract address to your MetaMask. Once I have my MetaMask up and running, and in case you do not have your MetaMask up and running, don't worry. At the end of the video, I'll also tell you how to do that. You will see that I have several chains and accounts over here. First up, you have your accounts here. And second, you have your various chains over here. How to add accounts, how to delete them, how to manage them and how to manage chains is again something pretty easy and we'll get to that. But within this chain, say Ethereum mainnet, I have many tokens which I can save. You can see ETH, USDC and Stark are visible right here. But what if I want USDT or USDC over here? I will help you add a custom contract address here to add a token and then I will also show you a complexity so don't go away too soon because there is a complexity which you need to know. First up there is an import tokens button right here which you will see on the extension as well as the app. Click on that and there are two options here. First is search. To make it easy you can just search USDC and popular tokens will just show up like USDT shows up as well. But if you are not sure and don't want to trust this or want a new token which you don't think is showing up and search over here, sure, you can go to custom token. This is especially helpful if you are not adding them on the Ethereum mainnet, which is where the complexity I was talking about will show up. And we'll get to that. But the token contract address, my go-to place to get them is CoinGecko. For example, if I want USDT to be added to the Ethereum mainnet, I will go to the USDT page on CoinGecko. I'm just going to zoom this a little for your convenience. Now on the left within info, you see contract and there are these three dots here. If you click them, you will see various contracts. Now the contract up front with this Ethereum logo is right here. I can just add this to MetaMask by clicking this or copy this contract address. Go to import tokens, go to custom token and paste it here. USDT as a symbol is auto detected. I can click next and Voila, I click import and USDT is imported here. Now if you want to add something to a different chain, first you need to make sure that chain shows up in this list over here. You can toggle it by going to this left corner on your wallet and say I am on Arbitrum 1 now. And on Arbitrum 1, if I want to add say WBTC, which is wrapped bit BTC. So let me go to CoinGecko, get WBTC and within contracts you will see the but default one is ethereum but you want to click these dots you want to go down scroll and look for arbitrum one now in some cases there are two arbitrum options which show up which we'll get to but i'm just gonna copy this token address here to just do this demo again for you go to import tokens you only have an option to add token contract address i'm gonna paste it the symbol shows up, I will click next and I'm going to import it. Now how about if you want to add the ARB token itself. Now when I was adding the ARB token, which is here on CoinGecko, when I looked at the contract addresses, I saw Arbitrum Nova. And that was not accepted over here because this is the Arbitrum 1 chain. And I had to match the logo and figure that the first option here the default option is Arbitrum 1 and copy this contract address to get it right here on MetaMask. The default add to MetaMask button uh, shows up only for the Ethereum token but does not show up for these two over here. But I was able to add the ARB token manually using this contract address. Now if you are new to MetaMask and find all of what I am saying Latin and Greek, don't worry, I have various tutorials on setting up MetaMask and using them and I will give you the links to them right here.